Okay, so most people really don't understand how to find the LCD, which is the lowest common denominator. Now we need to think about the LCD when we are trying to add and subtract fractions. And uh, most people have some sort of general basic understanding of what the LCD is, and they can actually find it with very simple problems. But uh, when it comes down to the actual procedure, to find the LCD, well, I think a lot of people really aren't clear. But uh, let's see how much you understand about the LCD. So here is a pretty simple fraction problem. Let's see if you can uh, add these fractions without a calculator. So we have 3 over 20 plus 1 over 8. What is the answer? Well, if you know the answer, put that into the comment section. And uh, if you were to tutor someone or to teach how to find the LCD, what would be your kind of lesson? In other words, what would be your procedure that you would tell someone in order to find the LCD? Okay, so put all of that into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to talk about this problem, and we're going to uh, talk about how to find the lowest common denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is 11 over 40. All right, so if you got this right, well, that is fantastic. You definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like Amos to YouTube Math, man, it's been a long time since I've done any of this uh, math. Can you go ahead and give me a quick refresher on the LCD? Well, no problem. This is not that difficult. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get started right now. So the first thing that we need to understand about adding and subtracting fractions is that we cannot add or subtract fractions unless the denominators or the bottom numbers in the fractions are the same. So here you can see that 3 20ths plus 1 8th, our denominators are uh, different. So we're going to have to find the lowest common denominator, which of course is the LCD. Now you don't have to find the LCD in every single problem because if the denominators are the same, well, we can just simply add or subtract the numerators. So let's go ahead and take a look at this simple example. So we have one-fifth plus two-fifths. So here the denominators are the same. So that means all we have to do to add these fractions is to keep that common denominator, which of course is five, and then add the respective numerators. So that is one and two. So one plus two, of course, is three. So the answer here is three-fifths. Okay, so again, if the denominators are the same and you're trying to add and subtract fractions, all you have to do is add or subtract the respective numerators. Okay, now before we get into this problem, let's go ahead and take a look at a very simple problem where we're going to need to find the LCD. Okay, so here we have one-fifth plus uh, two-thirds. What is the answer? But uh, before we get to the actual answer, what is the lowest common denominator? All right, so we have two fractions. We want to add them, but that the denominators are different. So that means we're going to have to change these fractions such that uh, the denominators are the same. That is, in fact, the lowest common denominator. Okay, so what is the LCD? Well, in this very simple problem, the lowest common denominator is 15. All right, now I'm going to show you a procedure on how to find the LCD in a, a second. But a lot of people could just kind of guess and be like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm a total expert at the LCD. I know the answer. It's 15. This is super easy. Well, that is correct. So kind of kind of like how I indicated in the beginning of this video, a lot of people can, uh, you know, do easy fraction addition and subtraction problems, and they can kind of identify the LCD with very easy numbers like this. Now, the LCD, one way to kind of think about it it's the lowest number that both uh, these denominators divide into with no remainder. Okay, so both 5 and 3 divide in uh, to 15. It's the lowest number that both both of these numbers divide into without a remainder. But uh, these, all, these numbers also divide into 30, right? So 3 goes into 30 10 times with no remainder, and then 5 goes into 30 6 times six times with no remainder. But uh, between these two numbers here, this is the lowest number. So that's uh, kind of the main idea or the uh, one way to kind of think of the LCD. But uh, really the main idea of this video is to talk about how to find the LCD. Okay, so indeed the lowest common denominator uh, here is 15. 
So that means we're going to have to change both of these denominators to be 15 in order to add these fractions. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So how do we change uh, both of these denominators to become 15? Well, this is very easy. So we have 5 and 3. Let's go ahead and start with the 5. So how do we change a 5 into a 15? Well, that's easy. All we have to do is multiply it by 3. But uh, if we multiply this 5 by 3, we also have to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. Okay, so you just can't multiply, you know, a number by just the denominator. So you have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by whatever value it takes to get the LCD. Okay, so let's go ahead and change 1 fifth such that it has a denominator of 15. So again, we need to multiply the uh, numerator and the denominator by 3. So 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 5 is 15. So our final fraction here will be 3 fifteenths. Okay, so when it comes to 2 thirds, we need to uh, change this denominator of 3 into a 15. So we need to multiply it by 5. But that means we also need to multiply the numerator by 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. And 3 times 5, of course, is 15. So now we have two fractions with uh, common denominators. All right, so now we are ready to add. So to add these fractions again, when uh, fractions have the same denominators, all you need to do is write that denominator and add the respective numerators. So we have 3 plus 10. Of course, that is 13. So our final answer is 13 over 15. All right, now a lot of you might be saying, hey, Ms. D2 Math Man, this is so easy. This is not that difficult. Well, you know, maybe so, but uh, what if I gave you this problem? So instead of uh, 1 fifth plus uh, 2 thirds, what if I gave you 1 over 508 plus 2 over 322, for example? So what is the LCD here? Now, a lot of you would be like, hey, Ms. D2 Math Man, I would never do that problem. Matter of fact, I would just leave your YouTube video. Well, this is what this video is all about, right? So most people, again, can find the LCD when we're operating or dealing with very uh, easy numbers. But uh, what we're going to look at in just one second is the procedure such that we could find the lowest common denominators with more difficult values. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our problem now. So we have 3 uh, over 20 plus 1 eighth. Now, obviously, the denominators are different, so we're going to have to find the LCD. Okay, so if you can do this problem, do it in your own way, even if you don't know the exact procedure. But uh, what I'm going to show you in just one second is a procedure to find the lowest common denominator every single time. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. My goal is to help as many people as possible in mathematics, and specifically, I'm trying to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting way. Also, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so now that we understand some basic concepts about the LCD, let's go ahead and take a look at this procedure to find the lowest common denominator in this problem right here. And this particular procedure that I'm going to show you is the same procedure that you need to use in algebra. So if you're trying to add or subtract fractions in algebra, you need to understand this procedure. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is prime factor each of these denominators. So we have 20 and 8. So let's go ahead and take a look at the prime factors of each of these numbers. So what does it mean to prime factor? Well, you're trying to break up these uh, numbers into uh, factors. In other words, you're trying to think of two or more numbers such that when you multiply these numbers, you get back to this number. So we can do this in different ways, but uh, let's take 20 here, for example. So 20 is the same thing as 2 times 10 or 4 times 5. It doesn't make a difference. This will all, The final answer will, uh, will work out in the same or work out the same. Excuse me. So 20 is the same thing as 4 times 5. Now, as soon as you have a prime number as a factor, so 5 is a prime number, go ahead and circle it. Right? So this is a good little uh, way to uh, prime factor a number. So here, this number is prime. So if a number is not prime, 
we can, can uh, we continue to factor that number. Okay, so four is not prime, so we can factor four into other numbers, i.e. two times two, two and two are prime. So the prime factors of 20 is two times two times five, or two times two times five. Okay, so here is the key. Anytime you have repeating uh, prime factors, you wanna write this as a power. So two times two is the same thing as two squared. Okay, so 20 as its prime factors is two squared times five. Okay, so this is the way you wanna break down a number into its prime factors. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at eight. So eight is the same thing as four times two. Two is prime, four is not. So four is the same thing as two times two. So these are all prime numbers. So eight is the same thing as two times two times two or two cubed. All right, so this is the first step uh, to find the LCD. You take your denominators, and by the way, if you have more than one denominator, you could just continue on uh, and prime factor uh, all the denominators that you're dealing with. Okay, so 20 again is two squared times five, and eight is uh, two to the third power. Now here is how you construct the lowest common denominator. Okay, so here it is right here. Let me explain this. So the LCD is going to be the product of all the prime factors involved uh, with all your denominators. So here we have two squared, we have five, and we have two cubed. So we have to identify all the unique prime factors and then just multiply them together and we'll get the LCD. All right, so we have two squared and we have two to the third power. So the uh, main number here is two. We just have two to different powers, right? So here, this is two squared and this is two to the third. So what you do is not take two squared and multiply it by two to, uh, two to the third power. So anytime you have the same number, uh, same uh, factor to a different exponent, you always take the highest exponent uh, as part of your LCD. So we're not gonna take two squared, we're gonna take the, we're gonna take the highest power of two that is two to the third power. Okay, so now we have that, and we're just going to uh, continue to multiply by all the other unique uh, uh, factors of our um, denominators. Okay, so I'm kind of stumbling and bumbling, but hopefully, you know, by looking at it, you can understand uh, better. Okay, so the LCD, we have two to the third power, that's the highest power two, and then of course we have this other prime factor five. So we have two to the third times five. This is going to be the LCD. So what is two to the third power? That is eight. So eight times five is 40. Okay, so this is the procedure to find the lowest common denominator. Now, a lot of you uh, know, or just kind of figured out that yes, 40 is the lowest number that both uh, 20 and eight divide into. But again, if I gave you a much more difficult denominators, it wouldn't be so easy. And uh, this is the procedure that you're, you're going to need to understand in algebra. All right, so there you go. So 40 is the lowest common denominator. So that means that we need to uh, write our fractions here. 3 over 20 plus 1 over 8. We need to change 20 into 40 and 8 into 40 to add these fractions. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. And effectively, we're going to do the same thing as we did in that other example. So how do we change a 20 into a 40? Easy, we just simply multiply it by two. So that means we need to multiply the numerator by two. So we're going to end up with six over 40. How do we change an eight into a 40? Just multiply it by five. So we have to multiply the numerator by five as well. So we have uh, five over 40. Okay, so now we have uh, common denominators. 40 is the lowest common denominator. So to add these fractions, all we have to do is simply add the respective numerators. Okay, so that's six plus five over 40, and our final answer is 11 over 40. Okay, so the main idea in this video is about uh, how to find the LCD, okay? Again, a lot of people can uh, do basic uh, problems, but uh, I wanted to kind of focus in and introduce this procedure in just a case if you didn't know how to find the lowest common denominator. But uh, the key to finding the LCD is being able to prime factor numbers. So this is something that you definitely want to practice. And if you don't understand, you know, don't feel too bad. 
Again, most people don't understand this procedure, but it's uh, something that you definitely need to practice. And uh, again, if you are going to continue on beyond basic math into algebra, you'll definitely be seeing this again. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.